My friends asked me to DIY a reading nook for her kids underneath her stairs and I couldn't say no. And this is the full one part video. First, we started with this gorgeous wallpaper. Yes, I am putting it on the ceiling and my neck was hurting after this, but it is so worth it. It's given off some Harry Potter vibes, but the kids absolutely love it. And this is a peel and stick, so if they change their mind later down the road, they can take it down. It was time for paint, so I used my little color reader. Grab a nice green tone from the print. And yes, I cover the rug on like all my projects because it's not my house. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be too dark for a kid's space. But don't worry, trust the process. This color tone is more of an army green and I am loving it. And yes, coincidentally, it matches my toque or beanie if you're not from Canada. Now, once the paint was done, it's time to make some slats. We wanted to add a little bit of dimension to the space and keep with the earthy vibes, so we went with slats. Once I was done the slats, I moved on to the bookshelf. I saw similar ones at Ikea, but a lot of you guys are saying these look like ones from The Sims, which I never actually played. They were super easy to make, so if you want a tutorial, let me know. These ones are about two times the size of the Ikea ones. Then I got started on a peg wall for the back corner. If you don't know what a peg wall is, a peg wall holds things. Typically, you see them in garages, but they are also used in craft rooms. And the fact that I said craft should give you a pretty good indication about what this this is going to be used for. And don't be like me and if you're drilling into MDF, wear a mask the whole time. I did use one, but not the entire process. Little did I know that these peg walls would be the bane of my existence because this little one wasn't so bad to do. But then I had a second bigger one to do. And although I don't show it in this video, I kind of made a little bit of a mistake. I had bought 7 8 dowels for the wall. And I also made the holes 7 8 and if you do your math, it should work out, but it didn't. So I did have to go back and drill the holes slightly bigger. Again, I didn't show it. I added these little frames to finish off the edges, then painted them to match so that they blended in with the wall. And if you're thinking that's too boring, just wait. Ah! I added these fun LEDs just to brighten up the corner a bit. Kind of looks spooky with the light off, but I promise it's fun. I then had this crazy idea to put a desk in the back corner. Again, because peg walls and crafts go together, you needed a desk to do the craft set. And I know this space seems really small, but it's actually pretty comfortable. Not gonna lie, I actually enjoyed hiding out in here most days working. I added these really, really cute magnetic wall lights that you can move around like flashlights. You can check out my Amazon storefront for those. And then because a lot of you guys think, oh, this space isn't fun enough for kids, bam, I'm adding this fun climbing wall to the front. Her kids are still pretty young, so they're gonna be able to use it for a long time. I screwed this right into the studs using very long structural screws so this baby isn't going anywhere. And if you're worried about the strength of this wall, my 10 year old who is almost the same size as me climbed it no problem. And because we had a craft corner in the back, we added these picture frames so that they could put their artwork in it. So we started with a blank space and now we're done. The kids are absolutely loving this little nook. I'm so glad to give them the space that they can have as their own. And secretly, I would love a space for myself too. So would you do a space like this under your stairs? Be sure to stick around because there's more projects to come. Okay, bye.